Instagram's newest feature, Broadcast Channels. In today's episode of Build Your Tribe, I'll be explaining to you what they are, how to use them, and most importantly, how you can use them to your benefit as an entrepreneur or a creator. Broadcast channels have been in the works for the last few months, and they were officially rolled out worldwide on June 15th. Now, I want to quickly note that just because they were rolled out and became available worldwide doesn't mean that automatically every single Instagram user gets access to this feature. So you can check and see if you have access to it. But if you don't have it just yet, just be patient and you should hopefully have access to this new feature soon once it rolls out to your account and every single profile. Of course, with 2 billion users on Instagram, this is going to take some time. But what even are broadcast channels? I think the simplest way to think about it is it is a one-to-many group chat. So in comparison to a normal group chat where anyone can talk to anyone in a broadcast channel, you as the creator of the channel are the only person who can send messages. Everyone else on the chat can only react to your messages. They can't actually respond with messages of their own. So broadcast channels are more of a monologue than a dialogue. It's like you're on stage. People can react with their facial expressions, they can clap, they can applaud, but they can't necessarily raise their hand, interject, ask questions and things like that like you normally would in a dialogue or a conversation. If you have access to this feature, creating a broadcast channel is very, very simple. All you have to do is open your Instagram direct messages, tap on the new message button in the upper right-hand corner, and then tap create broadcast channel. Once you create your broadcast channel, all of your followers will automatically receive an invitation to join the channel, and the invitation will include the name that you title your broadcast channel. So it's important to be thoughtful about what that name says. If you name it something kind of generic, like I chose to do with Brock General Updates, that's the name of my first broadcast channel, then it's not that exciting. It's not that enticing. But I've seen other people name their broadcast channels things that create some curiosity and create a reason to want to click. Even just titling your group something like the inner circle or the secret group can be a great way to create some curiosity and make people want to join. Once your followers do join, let's talk about what you can do as the creator of the group. First and foremost, because of course this is a direct message group, you can send messages. You can send text and audio messages just like you normally would in the direct messages. And in those text messages, you can include clickable links. You can also very easily run clickable polls. So unlike the normal direct messages where you don't have this option, when you're in a broadcast channel, you can present a poll for your audience to vote in. Again, remember, they can't respond with their own text, but they can tap and vote in your poll. You can send other media, including photos and videos to your group, just like you would in a normal direct message. And you can also even share posts within the broadcast channel. So not to get too far ahead of ourselves with the marketing implications of a broadcast channel, but let's say you have a relatively disengaged audience who doesn't often interact with your feed posts. But when you create this broadcast channel, you suddenly get hundreds or thousands of your followers joining the broadcast channel because it's a new feature and it's an exciting new capability. You could take one of your feed posts and share it into your broadcast channel and encourage the people who are in that channel to go engage with the feed post. I personally did this in my broadcast channel last week and it proved to be very effective. And I know I've said it already, but I want to make sure that we're clear that your followers can't actually respond. So if you're asking a question of your followers in the broadcast channel, there's no way for them to directly respond, but they can react. And the way that they do that is they hold down or double tap on any message that you've sent, and then they can choose an emoji to react with. Instagram will automatically provide them with about five or six common emoji options, or your followers can press the plus button and choose from any of the random assortment of emojis that they have access to on their phone's operating system. Once you create a broadcast channel, there will be a little button that shows up on your Instagram profile so people can click and join your broadcast channel right there from your profile. Or you can also share a sticker onto your Instagram stories, and that's a clickable button so that when people are viewing your stories, they can click and automatically view or what's called subscribe to the broadcast channel. Now that we know what they are, let's talk about the benefits of broadcast channels, because unlike a lot of the new features on Instagram that oftentimes feel like they come out of nowhere and leave us questioning who even asked for this feature, I do think broadcast channels are an awesome way to engage your audience, and they do have a lot of marketing uses. Already in just the first few days, I've seen a lot of really powerful ways that entrepreneurs and creators have been using broadcast channels, and I think that the possibilities and the use cases are only going to grow. 
Let's talk about some of the benefits of broadcast channels, though. First and foremost, as I already mentioned, it automatically sends a notification to all of your followers, encouraging them to join the broadcast channel. And in fact, oftentimes when that notification arrives, it arrives as if it's a special, unique invitation. I remember the very first day that this came out when I was receiving notifications that other creators who I follow had created their own broadcast channel. I thought they were personally inviting me to join the channel, which again, like we talked about earlier, really increased the odds or the likelihood that I would join that channel. And so the fact that it's being sent out to all of your followers as a push notification really increases the likelihood that they're going to join the channel, especially if there's someone who isn't a super engaged follower. Maybe they don't see a lot of your feed posts or they don't often watch your Instagram stories. The broadcast channel might be a great way to re-engage them. The second benefit of broadcast channels is just increased engagement. Like I already said, you can do things like sharing feed posts into your broadcast channels to encourage your followers to engage with those feed posts. But just the fact that now people are in this group chat with you, they're able to kind of communicate with you in a way, they feel like they're a part of this community, it's great for your engagement on Instagram. Also, Instagram direct messages have on average, this is a mind-blowing stat, a 98% open rate. And because broadcast channels exist in the direct messages, we can conclude that broadcast channels also will have approximately a 98% open rate. My personal favorite benefit of broadcast channels is the ability to get feedback from your audience. I think oftentimes entrepreneurs and creators, we forget how we have the ability to pull our audience and ask them questions all the time. Rather than relying on our own creativity or our own judgment, we can ask our followers what they want, what they're looking for, what they categorize themselves as, and even more so than an Instagram story where I often hear people say, oh, I can't get my followers to engage when I put a poll on my Instagram stories. When you put a poll in the broadcast channel, people are so much more likely to engage because it feels like a personal message. It feels like you are directly asking them rather than you're just making a story and hoping people respond. So one of my favorite use cases and benefits of broadcast channels is the ability to run polls and collect feedback from your audience. And what's cool is your audience members also are able to see real-time results. Currently at the time of recording this, Instagram doesn't break the poll results into percentages. And I think that's because you can have more than four options, which is another really cool feature within broadcast channels is you can run polls with more than just four options. But with that being said, even though you can't see the percentage, you can see the total number of votes that each of the options within the poll receives. And so again, it's just a great way to collect some data and learn a little bit more about your audience, their preferences, and anything else you might want to know about your followers. And then the final benefit from the broadcast channel, and this is something that I've already begun to hear from my followers, is that it really makes them feel like they're a part of the community. Oftentimes on social media, it can feel a little bit lonely. It can feel like as the creator, you're just solo and you don't really get to connect with your audience that much. And as a follower, you oftentimes feel disconnected from the other members of the community from the people you follow. And so a broadcast channel is a great way to cultivate that sense of community and allow people to kind of feel like they're all in a group chat together. Now let's talk about some ideas on how you can use broadcast channels for your marketing purposes, to grow your business, to make more money, or to increase engagement. First and foremost, the purpose of a broadcast channel is to broadcast things to a large group of people. Translation, broadcast channels are meant, they're designed to send alerts, send reminders, or send notifications. So some of my favorite ways to do this are sending reminders about upcoming lives on Instagram, sending the link, or even directly sharing a feed post within the group as kind of an alert. Hey guys, I just made this new feed post about X, Y, and Z topic, or just giving any other kind of important information, update, or news broadcast to your followers. And of course, this brings us to number two, which might have been what you're thinking already, which is you can use broadcast channels to announce and promote new offers, special discount codes, flash sales, a new product launch. You can even use uh, these broadcast channels to kind of use your audience as a focus group to collect information on them and learn about their preferences, take them along the creation journey for this new product, this new course, whatever it is that you're going to be selling, and then announce it to the broadcast group, to the broadcast channel, when you actually do launch the product. It's a great way to, again, keep people engaged, build that sense of community, and most importantly, broadcast the information that you need to be heard. 
My third idea on how you can use broadcast channels is something I've already talked a little bit about, which is audience insights. It's our job as entrepreneurs and creators not to have all the answers, but rather to ask all the right questions or even just to ask all of the questions. And so I want to encourage you to use your broadcast channels, not just as a self-serving tool to promote your latest offer or service, but instead to use your broadcast channel to collect more information on your audience, learn more about their preferences, their behaviors, their attitudes, their opinions, and in turn, use that information to create better content, better products, and serve your audience more effectively. My biggest overall tip that I would give you if you are starting a broadcast channel is limit the number of messages that you're sending per day. Because not everyone is going to be checking their messages every single day within the channel, and because it's only a one-way communication, right? There's no way for them to actually respond. If you are sending dozens of messages every single day, it's going to feel overwhelming. Imagine you were having a text conversation with someone and you couldn't respond to them ever. And they were sending you like 20 texts a day. It's going to be a lot to keep up with. So instead, I would recommend keeping it to only a few, maybe even only one message in your broadcast channel per day, or else people might start to feel like they're missing out, they're falling behind, and that will likely lead to them leaving the group. So don't overdo it. Don't spam your audience when you do start a broadcast channel, but I'd love to hear from you. How do you plan on using this new feature? Are there any ideas that I mentioned in this video that you hadn't thought of or any ideas that you had thought of that I didn't mention in this video? I would love to hear from you down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. And as always, happy networking.